Hey and welcome to Neverwinter with Aragon. So the April Fowls event has come around again within Neverwinter. So in this video I'd like to just go over a quick guide so you don't end up wasting your time on the event. Well, this event is very simple and there's really not a whole lot you can do to earn the rewards that you can obtain from it. Well, initially you'll jump to this NPC and if you haven't done this event before, his quests will be all golden otherwise they'll be blue because they are repeatable quests and they are pretty much all the same they will require you to eat a seed and then do a certain ability with that chicken that you transform into and you get all five of these quests and these quests are as i mentioned pretty much the same other than you will have to use the different powers that the chickens grant you. So we pop to our inventory and we can see we have all of these five seeds here and they're different colors. The NPC, Mr. Earl, will request you to eat the seed and then it will tell you to go on and do a specific thing. Like here, we went and eat the green seed and now we have to go and heal the fender chickens. So we'll have to use our heal power here on our queue and we'll have to basically heal them. You can use the right click on your mouse button to run around a bit quicker. We go to the defender chicken which is right here and we pop the heal on him and that gives us one out of five and you just do that for the rest. And once you've gone and completed the quest you can hold down your tab and you can transform back into your normal self and once that's done you can go and eat the next seed. Now if you did like just what I did and you haven't finished the quest before before you've eaten the seed like I haven't done anymore you can always go and purchase the seed again here for two of those bird feathers. Now each of these specific quests like this new bird that I've changed into will basically tell me to go and use my rush power on those uh, running around chickens that would be those green ones if we spot one just around here and you get the point. But each of these quests will effectively give you seven of this bird feed and will give you one of these bird feathers. And this is one of the green guys that I have to chase and use my rush power on. And there we've used it and we get one out of five. Now, what do we spend this currency on? Well, you go to this chicken back here and he's the store vendor basically and you'll obtain these two currencies bird feed and bird feathers now the bigger rewards you'll have to spend bird feathers on and the lesser ones are the bird feed so we can see we can obtain the zombie chicken this mount here it's a green it's purely just for show i wouldn't bother upgrading it and you'll have to spend 25 of those bird feathers so this will take you a total of five days to obtain due to the fact that you can obtain a maximum of five bird feathers from completing all five of those quests from Mr. Earl's Chicken Master every day. And then you can go on and if you spend 10 days, you can obtain the Ring of the Foul Weather, which I do recommend obtaining if you're newer characters and you're just leveling up or you've hit level 80 and you're not sure what artifacts, as this artifact is one of the top tier artifacts. And if we look at it on its mythic rank, just in the collections here, we can see it has the highest item level as any other artifact in the game, so it would give you that benefit. And its actual power is not bad at all when you want to fight lots of groups of mobs, and I'll go over it in a later video when I actually have the currency to basically complete these quests and obtain the Ring of the Foul Weather. Now, with the actual bird seeds, we can obtain a multitude of things from this uh, fashion to this vanity pet, some boots here, some seed bread, some hot wings, and then, of course, those seeds which you can change into the chickens for a short period of time. Now seed bread is good since it will give you power and defense. However, as a DPS you ideally want food that would give you two offense stats. So this would be the hot wings, crit severity and accuracy. Both pretty nice stats, however crit severity is pretty easily capped and watermelon sorbet already gives you accuracy. So I wouldn't recommend purchasing this food, you can it won't cost you anything if you have all of those bird feed to spare. But the problem is it's character bound once you buy it. So you won't be able to trade it between characters or even sell it to anybody. And that's pretty much this event put simply. 
Of course, you may have seen that you can go and queue up in player versus player in the fight of the fouls. However, unfortunately, completing the fight of the fouls, even when you win, you won't obtain any of this event currency, so it's pretty much a waste of your time to go and jump in and, uh, yeah, play for fun. So that's everything for this event. It's really nothing too special and very basic and simple. It's capped every day at those five quests. Of course, you can complete them on multiple characters, but there's no real advantage to do so unless you want those same rewards on those other characters. So hopefully this was at least somewhat helpful and saves you some time if you're questioning how to go about this event. I know I'm a little late on this event has already started, been three days now, but it is what it is. So hopefully I presented this well, if I did consider the video a like, and if you're new around here, consider subscribing. I will see you guys around, goodbye for now.